Hi, it's Jim Carson from Blackstock Ford Lincoln, and today I've got a very serious topic to talk about, and that involves the health of not only owners of the cars, but especially technicians like Andrew Beside and technicians all across Canada. And I'm talking about asbestos and brake pads. You can find lots of information on it, but many people don't know that just this year, 2019, finally Canada followed the Americans and we have banned the importation of asbestos brake pads. However, there are still a lot of brake pads in stock in suppliers that may find their way into the chain. It's very expensive to, to dispose of asbestos safely. It can't go in the landfills, and it's a concern that we have. It also talks about how many years have we still had asbestos. Well, you're not getting asbestos brake pads from any OEM manufacturer, and you've, you've not had those for, for dozens of years. But it may not occur to you as a consumer, but how does asbestos dust, we all know it's a carcinogen, how does that affect your job day to day, Andrew? How, how do you get exposed to that dust? Thanks, Jim. Anytime a vehicle comes in for service, when we perform the scheduled service of the day, whether it's removing tires, inspecting suspension, we are exposed to this asbestos. So any time that we can cut down on the exposure is greater for life. Uh, it's here, we're, we're at near the end of August. We're coming up very soon to the winter tire changeover season. So just Correct. having your tires rotated, that dust gets in the air? Yep. Yeah, anytime you take the wheels off, on the inside of the rim, there will be a, a coating of dust, and then it's on your hands. And anything you touch with your hands after that, it's on that. You're now exposed to many different items. Yeah, and then there's, there's nobody who's going to doubt that asbestos isn't a well-known carcinogen and, and it's been banned in, in many instances. Uh, in Canada, let me explain. There's a symbol that's voluntary put on in Canada. In the US, it's the law. The symbol are three leaves. If the first leaf is black, that indicates that these are asbestos-free pads. Also, on the inside of the backing plate, the law regulates in the US that the, the printing of the, the code of where it was manufactured, what the brake coefficient is, the date they were manufactured, who manufactured it, it's all traceable. The only way you can test for asbestos in those brake pads is to actually remove a part of it, send it away for a lab for diagnosis. So, so the best you can do as a consumer, if you're buying over the counter brake pads or if you're not going back to the OEM dealer, you have no worries for Ford, Morning, Honda, Toyota, all the manufacturers. None of the manufacturers have used asbestos for many years. But my concern coming up is what's going to happen to those brake pads that are still in supply? Well, look for, be dubious about low cost brake jobs. Insist to ask, see the box, make sure it has that leaf symbol with the one black leaf. You don't want the asbestos dust blowing in your window either, but for technicians like Andrew here, they're exposed. When you come to the dealership and go to your dealership or go to your service center, if you feel you may have bought low-cost brake pads before, not directly from the OEM, and there's a chance that they could have asbestos, just tell us. We're not going to ride your chops for going outside the dealership, but just tell us so we can make sure that our technicians like Andrew here are well protected with a mask, glasses, and gloves. And both Andrew and I would like to ask you as consumers, make a wise choice, know what you're buying, look for that symbol in the box, buy the brakes from your OEM manufacturer. Many of us have lifetime warranties. We have great value on brakes anyway. But be careful. Be careful about the low-cost brake jobs and make sure, insist, that they're asbestos-free. Well, Andrew, I want to thank you for joining me. Thanks for the help today. That's it for now. I'm Jim Carson from Blackstock Ford Lincoln in Orangeville, Brick Lane Tire and Auto Center in Orangeville, and thank you for watching.